Okay, in this video, this is for you people who have the F-150s from about 2004 to probably most current, 2011 at least. Um, these are the ones with the vacuum actuator that's up by the passenger side. As you can see. This is a perfect example right here. The moisture's coming down and it's dropping right on the vacuum cap. So what happens over time is that your hubs fill with water and then they fail. What happened to mine is last week I was driving and my hub would engage, then disengage. Like you could hear it grind as if something was dragging, like, like you're dragging metal underneath. I had that high pitch grinding noise and all of a sudden the axle would, would jerk. You could feel the axle engage and it'd kick up. With the engine running, the hub does not engage. Let's just click it to four high right now. It says so on the dash. Now you can see the hub's engaged. So right now with the scanner, you're not gonna be able to see fuck all because of the glare, but I can actuate the four wheel drive right now, it's on, off. On, off. Since you couldn't see on the screen because of outside, it says integrated wheels and solenoid, I just engage it on. And then off, that's how I can isolate that one circuit. So at this point, it's not giving me any codes at all. And I'm manually able to turn it on and off, so we know the switch is functioning. So at this point, the switch is not the fault, however, it is the old school style. So we're going to replace that. And the issue was with the front driver's side hub engaging. So it could be a vacuum leak down there perhaps, or it could be that that hub has just failed. So now we're going to start removing it and taking it apart. Okay, we need to replace this for the updated version that has a hook. This is the old version, like I said, water can get in there and that's, and that's what ruins it. So we need to move electrical. Uh, there we go, push down. And then the vacuum's underneath, you want to pull that out. All right, it's actually number 10. That just comes out. Oh, you just pull that out. And there we have it. You can see right here with the old one, it doesn't have a hood, so it allows moisture to get in, and the new one has a hood to prevent the moisture from getting in. That's all in place, everything is patched up. So in the end, was the vacuum switch the problem? Maybe, maybe not, but I'm getting, I'm leaning more towards this being the problem with the seal blowing out of the vacuum hub. As you can see right there, the damage done from a grinding. All right, I'm gonna end my video on replacing the 4x4 vacuum actuator for your F-150 4x4 truck. Um, in the end, it was the seal that had failed due to a bunch of dirt and shit and ripped the seal apart, so it was causing the vacuum to either leak or not leak. So that's why the hub was engaging, disengaging, engaging, disengaging. Um, I only drove like a short distance. No, about five kilometers home, and it already started to shred the gear on that vacuum hub pretty good. So I could imagine if you are driving on it full time. Now normally when it fails completely, you can hear like a rattle or hum noise constantly, but mine was in and out, so that's one of those intermittent problems. I hope this video helps you guys out if you're suffering the same issue. Anyways, it's beer time. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.